All verse rising my soul family, peace to the God stars and goddesses. With this topic, we are going to explain why a lot of spiritually awake soul beings have been switched out at birth from their real spiritual family, right? This can associate with Larians, Palladians, Arcturians, the Pegasians, you know, so many spiritual families out here in the multiverse. That's not really talked about on planet Earth in Angel Number Universe 7, right? And with that information I just shared you right there about Arcturians, Palladians, Lyrians, and the Pika Science and etc. spiritual beings in our multiverse, that just shows you that I got switched out and birthed from my real family, right? So let's say, for example, right, you know, there's a term called a black sheep, right? But let me t let me go deeper on this, right? Really. You know, the spiritually awake people, whether they where the spiritually awake human human or the spiritually awake humanoid extraterrestrial looks European, looks African, looks Caribbean, or looks like a mix of African Caribbean, and any spiritual humanoid extraterrestrial just questions everything in a slave owner society and, and sees that the rat race that a lot of their relatives have been chasing is fake. That's going to make that spiritually awake person realize that they are the octopus of their biological family that they was put in. So they so these spiritually awake people could not connect with their spiritual family at birth. Because, look, I'm going to tell you right now, when I was birthed into existence, my energy level was super duper high. People, individuals, right? Any individual in existence, whether it's an animal, a humanoid, extraterrestrial. If you a spiritually awake being and your energy level is super high at birth, what's going to happen is the slave owner system is going to have you be switched out from your spiritual family that you will have to later connect on through the Internet, where it might be Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, Facebook, Twitter, you know, YouTube, any anywhere. Right. And you as a spiritually awake being had to go through so much suffering, you know, with biologically people biologically related people that was that was like handpicked for you at birth through a social security number and a birth certificate right i'm gonna tell you right now a lot of us spiritually awake beings we have birth certificates and social security numbers that's not who we are you know so if you're if your last name is ashley woodberg manny wilson fucking jackson if your last name is fucking goddamn Brady, Tebow, look, any last name and, and middle name that you got on that birth certificate, your whole name on that birth certificate is not who you are. You know, if I was to tell my own mother or tell anybody that's biologically related to me who's not spiritually awake that our names on that birth certificate card is not who we are, that social security number it's not who we are. These job organizations is not who we are. They will look at me like I'm crazy, right? So I will be like the octopus in a family full of wolves, right? Because, you know, octopus and, and wolves, they have different characteristics. So they can't, they can't really connect together, right? So you as a spiritually awake being, realizing that that name on that social security card, that name on that birth certificate is not who you are. And you realize that these last names is not who you are, right? Because so many, so many sleep humans, so many sleep zombie humans, synthetic clone humans on Earth be talking about, oh, oh, my last name is Ashley. Oh, my last name is Jackson. Oh, my last name is Wilson. Oh, my last name is, is Snickerdoodle. My name is like Snickerberg, right? Like I'm a, I'm a Davis. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, like I'm a fucking Manny. I'm a. I'm a Kaepernick, like, no, you're not. You're not these last names. Like, come on. Like, any real spiritual being knows that these last names, like, your first name that, that was given to you at birth, that that first name, middle name, last name that was given to you at birth by your parents, that's not your real actual name. Why do you think a lot of musicians, they they give themselves a name because it's, it's through their own cosmic intuition of their own cosmic source, from the spiritual family, right? Because realistically, we're supposed to give ourselves a name. We're not supposed to let somebody else give our give us a name because that would be like slavery, right? It's just like in slavery. You know, a lot of melanated slaves 
a lot of European slaves, a lot of Asian, a lot of Asian slaves. They had last, they had names from first, middle, and last name forced on them, right? So if you're like any nationality, if you're a European person, an Asian nationality person, an African Caribbean nationality person, and and whatever your whatever your name is on that birth certificate, that is not who you are. And if you tell your own father and mother or or whoever it is in your biological family that's not spiritually awake, that the that that name on that social security card and that birth certificate is not who you are, they'll look at you like you're crazy because you question everything in existence. We're supposed to question things in existence. We've been we've been doing that in the whole multiverse for so long. So many spiritual beings have been questioning things in planet Venus, Pluto, planet Sadala, planet Azodio, planet Lyria for so long. Every planet in the multiverse from angel number universe one through angel number universe 25 and beyond. We spiritually awake soul beings been questioning everything, right? Imagine this, the name that I was given at birth, the name I was given at birth on a birth certificate, that's not who I am. I know that came from some slave owners. I knew that. But other people that's biologically related to me, like, you know, most of them don't even know that that the names on their social security card, the names on their birth certificate is not who they are. They think that's who they are. If someone, if you let if you let a slave owner tell you that, oh, your your last name is gonna be Wilson, your last name is gonna be Vapor, your last name is gonna be fucking Loader. You know, if you let any sl slave owner give you a name, man, that says a whole lot about your, your 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 courage. Like, you're not supposed to let anyone give you a name because you name yourself what you feel in your mind, heart, and soul is meant to be, right? So, like, like when you think about people that name themselves like Young Pharaoh or something, like Young Pharaoh before he got cloned, you feel me? I'm going to tell you right now, young Pharaoh, like the birth certificate on his name, the, the, the name on his birth certificate, that's not who he was. Young Pharaoh found out his name was young Pharaoh through spiritual esoteric teachings from intuition of inner work. When people do a lot of inner work, spiritual inner work, look, they find out that their real names is who they is, is what they come up with themselves. Right. So the name I came up with myself that you all, that, that a lot of you spiritual people already know me by, that's not on my birth certificate, you already know that I did a lot of inner work with myself, right? Like, come on, man. Like, cause like, I know, bro, a lot of individuals that spiritually awake, when they see, when they see on a birth certificate that their, that their name is like Jaden Daniels or Michael Penance. Or, or their name could be John Ross. They know that that spiritual people, they know that the, those names on those birth certificates is not who they are. So if my name was John Ross or Jaden Daniels and it was on a birth certificate, I know that's not who who I who I am. I know that's not who I am. Those names were given by some slave owner social security systems, and this is the proof that like the families that we were birthed into was like handpicked by Zionist, Mormon, Freemason, Pope demons who wanted to keep spiritually awake soul beings away from their spiritual family soul family like this is all facts like so let's say if your name was like jules unimines or something or jules unihearts or jules unisouls or your name was like inana laria right or your name was x or you're or you or you named yourself ozarka or you named yourself osiris yamoya or you named yourself osaria yamoya right that's the name that you came up with on your own through spiritual inner work. Because I'm going to tell you right now, you're not going to find anybody on a birth certificate that has the name, that has the name Osiris Yamoya. Because we all know, man, we spiritually awake, we spiritually awake beings, we are beyond this social security number. We are way beyond birth certificates, man. Like these birth certificates, social security numbers are not who we are. If you tell biological relatives, that the names on our birth certificate cards and and birth and, and social security numbers is not who we are and they and they think you're crazy for that they're not your they're not your spiritual family soul family that's all i got to say to you